Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I hope you are fine. I'm fine too. Congratulations for the students who have uh, cleared the test, who have passed the test, and uh, now they are part of elementary class. This is Muhammad Hamad, and uh, you are watching video of uh, Learning English at Home series. And uh, today we are going to talk about it is the first lecture of elementary class and uh, we are here with a very uh, different topic or a different method uh, now we have split the class into beginner and elementary so it is now easier for me to communicate and to deliver my lecture or deliver my topic i got a suggestion from one of my good friends uh, he said that uh, there must be some Urdu words so that students can understand easily and quickly. So yes, I will be using some of the words in Urdu so that you could uh, you can uh, get the word uh, on the very first time. So uh, I I thought a lot. Uh, yes, there was a question one student asked. Uh, that sir, uh, are you teaching from any course? You are are you following any syllabus? Uh, yes, answer is yes, I am following a uh, couple of syllables. I am following British Council online course. I am also following different websites. I am also uh, having my own input. What I learned, what uh, that double uh, I have a couple of courses from uh, Focus, one of the courses, what I have learned, uh, what I have uh, studied, and uh, one more course, uh, I don't remember the name. By the way, so there are different material, different stuff I have, different material. So I am trying to give you uh, just get uh, study much and uh, deliver uh, the concise or the condensed part, the core I want to deliver. It. And I am also focusing on the uh, picking level of the students. If the students are good and they are picking very quickly and they are learning, so uh, the, the syllabus or the topic is according to the student as well. Uh, yes, I am following the syllabuses. Don't worry, okay? Uh, step by step, uh, I am I am glad. The students are really improving and showing their great interest. Today's topic, uh, it is, I did not give a heading whether it is writing, reading, speaking or listening. Yeah, it is uh, related to writing as well, grammar and so it's about your uh, thinking capacity your approach or uh, your your uh, your english skill vocabulary so it is it is a blend blend kehte hain jab bahut sari cheeze ek sath hote hain to kehte hain it is a blend so it is a blend uh, real and english sorry i cracked here okay so it is a blend uh, so what we are going to do for uh, why, what we are going to learn from this topic we are going to learn, uh, uh, basically I want to know, I want to know what uh, is the level of uh, your vocabulary, your grammar, uh, your, uh, your sentence structure, like how good you are at making a sentence, how good you are your structures, your concepts, your English technique, articulation of words. I want to see different, I want to assess different uh, areas, what you are, how good you are. Okay, so I want to assess, then I will attach the topic one by one in the latter classes. I will share also uh, what syllabus we are or what we will, uh, how we will go on. But first, I want to see that how, what is the level of student uh, of right now in this class, and then gradually uh, we will we will learn those topics where most of the students are weak. We'll take grammar as well. Okay, don't worry. So random words, it is one of the techniques what I, what I learned and what I am going to uh, practice today. We will have some random words. Random words, random means can uh, say be okay, anything. And then we will uh, compose a story. We will make a story by our own selves, okay? So let's have, let's have some words. Mm, let's have some words like uh, random words. Yes, okay. I, if I get the name of animals, I go the dog. Okay. Okay, dog. Okay, find intelligence. Okay, find um, happy. Okay, more 
or uh, let's say mobile, different word. Fine, I would say one more marker. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, fine. Five. These are the five words. Okay, so these are the words. What I have to, uh, what I have to use and compose a story. Okay, a story, not a sentence. Jewelry banana. This is a dog, or I am an intelligent boy. No, not like this. You have to compose a story. And where you will come to know your skill? कि आप खुद से या आप मौके पर English किस तरह like कैसी English बोल सकते हैं या आप किस तरह जुमले बनाते हैं? So let me think. Dog, intelligent, happy, mobile marker. First of all, you have to create or compose a story in your mind. कि आपको किस तरह क्या कहानी क्या होगी? So I'm thinking. Hmm, I uh, these are the words what I thought right now. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay fine so i'm trying i'm trying and you will follow the same technique and you have to write okay i'm not writing here but you will write jab aap apne kahani banayenge to aap likhenge you will have to write okay then i will assess the grammar and your your different techniques okay hmm. once upon a time there was a dog uh he was so intelligent and uh, uh his name was Tommy. Uh, his master lived in a village. Uh, he was a woodcutter. Okay. Uh, uh, dog was happy with his master because the master of dog really care uh, care him. Dog के लिए हम भी सम्मान कर सकते हैं because uh, we treat it as a Living being in a, uh, uh, the English people, they use he or she for their pets, so we can use it. Okay, don't be confused. We can use it as well. Okay, uh, he was happy with his masters because uh, he really loved him. He really cared for him. Okay, once uh, they once they both uh, went to the forest, and uh, but uh, when a master uh, when the dog master he went to the forest, he remembered that he forget he forgot. his mobile phone at his home uh now he was confused what to do and then what he did uh he took out a marker from his pocket and uh, he said uh, he just drew a picture of mobile on the paper and he showed the dog he showed the dog the dog looked at the paper and uh, the master indicated pointed out to the house direction of house ghar ki taraf ishara kiya and asked him go tommy bring my phone so tommy went and uh, and in few minutes he brought his mobile and then they went to the forest and enjoyed their journey okay so this uh, this was a very basic story what i tried to compose uh, it was uh, something very funny no problem okay it was just an example you can create a good story out of it it's a bahut achhi kahani ban sakti hai anything so you have to do you have to practice this uh, writing a story composing a story uh, technique you have to do it it is a part of your assignment as well what you have to do you have to compose a story and take a picture and share with me now you need some words okay so now i'm sharing some words let's have some when the words for you uh and don't worry the story can be longer so it it depends on you aap kitni badi story banate hain you can have supporting words like jumle paanch hai like words maaje lekin kahani meri puri ek page ki ho gayi so it depends on you how good you are how much interest do you take but ye tamam words ka use hona it is very essential very important it is requirement ye zaruri hai ki aapko sare words samajh kar okay so friendo pe ji bhai se uh, building okay girl fine uh and happy uh surprise i gave a uh, few more words okay um fine and say dress fine okay, and uh 
blind. So these are some random words. Let me go for the meanings. Building, building, Mara, girl, unhappy, nakush, surprise, like you know, dress, dress and wear. And blind means they have no eyesight. Okay, like the, they are nabina ya andra, you can say. So these are the words what you have to use and you have to compose the story, okay, and you will share it. Second assignment, of course, listening is very important. So you will listen, practice, and listen, practice, and you will write. So it's enough for today's task. It will help me to take or to uh, to uh, assess uh, to set my course that what vocabulary do you, you need, and uh, what grammar do you need more right now, and how would you are at sentence structures. Okay, these three things are very important. Mashallah, you are good at listening. Your results are very good. You pick up very quickly. Uh, you are now good at uh, speaking. You need uh, to learn structures, some grammar tips, some vocabulary to improve and to enhance your speaking skills. Better So, first of all, I need to know. So, you will write a story and it, this will help me uh, to uh, move on uh, in the further classes. I classes may. Thank you so much. It's enough for today's class. I hope you learn and I hope you will make a very good story out of it. Uh, before going, then is really a simple request. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much. Take care. Love.